Hi, welcome to What's Up with DJ. Today I will be making air fryer meatloaf. And here are the supplies that I will be using. And here is the pan I will be using. Shout out to Doug. Thank you, Doug, for giving me this pan. I really appreciate it. And let's get started. What I'm going to first be doing is spraying the pan with a little bit of olive oil. This is just to help it, you know, not stick. And then I have the uh, all of the ingredients uh, pre-mixed here in a little bowl. Um, Campbell's soup, the breadcrumbs, all of the stuff. Starting with a one pound uh, of ground beef. I did end up adding a little bit of more ground beef because of the soup. Um, I do find that Campbell's soup makes the meatloaf so good. It puts the little vegetables in it, the little potatoes. It's very good. You should try it. This is just one of the many kinds of meatloafs that I make. Then we're going to go ahead and put the meat into the pan, uh, form it into a nice loaf inside the pan. You want to make sure not overwork the meat just enough, you know. You can see the little chunks from the soup in there. And then there you go. And now we're going to put a little bit of... Uh, crumbled bay leaves on top. This is optional. You don't have to do it. It just gives a nice aroma and nice top to it. And then next we're going to get it ready for the air fryer. I have a Power XL air fryer, 5.3 quart. The pan fits perfectly in there, as you can see. And I'm going to start this at uh, 380 for 20 minutes. Uh, you want to have an internal temperature on a meatloaf of 165 for it to be done. I personally do not like uh, ground beef or anything that's not done, so I did a little bit longer. But if you have a thermometer, you can do an internal temperature at 165. And here's the finished product. I did take it out in between and put some ketchup on top to let it cook on the last few minutes. And now we're going to go ahead and cut it. Now it is going to fall apart because it is hot. You can see the steam coming out. If you prefer your meatloaf to be nice meat slices, you'll want to let it cool. I personally don't care because it tastes good regardless of how it looks, if it's sliced nice or not. And then here's Sammy. Of course, he's got to be smelling it. You know how dogs are. He's nosy. He watches the whole time I'm cooking. He's got to have his little uh, smell, and he's got to try his little sample. There he is waiting like a good boy. And so now he's going to have his little sample because he's the taste tester. He's got to make sure it passes inspection. And yeah, I think it's passing inspection. What do you think? <laughs> but anyhow, he's my buddy and I love him. But thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know. This is only one of many meatloafs I make. Thank you.